Hello and welcome to section 11, the bonus section, Tree Augmented Naive Bayes or TAN. Back to the disease diagnosis problem, how can we use data to augment the structure of the Naive Bayes network using dependencies between the symptoms? Remember that we had this network before. We had a number of symptoms, congestion, fever, cough, difficulty breathing, and we had a po number of possibilities as the disease class, say COVID or flu. And we wanted to categorize these, uh, the instances based on their symptoms into different disease classes. Now suppose that there is a relationship between the symptoms that makes, th makes them dependent even if the disease is observed. So we had in the naive base model that if the disease was observed, then the symptoms were independent from each other, right? Because this trail will become deactive. Now imagine that that assumption is not correct and that may hold in general. It was a naive assumption. For example, peop people having strong lungs have a lower probability for having both cough and difficulty breathing when getting COVID. Okay, now this strong lung is a common cause which implies a dependency between the two variables. And this dependency can be, uh, can be shown with this extra link between the two symptoms. Okay, so the naive base model should be augmented by edges between the features to take this dependency into account for classification. Hopefully it will result in higher accuracy. So, a little bit to formalize, tree augmented naive base or TAN is a naive base that is augmented by tree structure, tree structure relationships between the features. So that means that in addition to the edge from the class variable, each feature can have an extra incoming edge from another feature variable. So you may say, why a tree structure? Because the same reasons that we discussed in the uh, score-based uh, section, and we had one of the possible ways to reduce the search space was to focus on tree structured networks. If they are simple, they're easy to learn, and we will use them. Otherwise, we could make this more complicated and uh, try to fit more complicated networks here. But the idea is that no, we will limit ourselves to a tree only. Okay, so it it will uh, if we re restrict it to tree structures, then it will reduce the computation cost. And how can we do this? How can we do the whole learning procedure? Well, we can use the so-called construct tan procedure that finds the maximum likelihood structure. It's nothing new. Like based on what we have learned, you will see that it's basically learning a tree structure for the features. So here is the procedure for each pair of feature variables x, y in x. This is the set of features. Compute the conditional mutual information. IP, x, y, condition on C. This is the formulation. You see that just everything here in the log is conditioned on C. And C is the class uh, variable. So we will calculate these. And what are these? Well, these will be the weights. Recall from the tree structured section, we can construct a completely connected undirected graph over X with the conditional mutual information as the edge weights. Okay, and again, the reason we're doing this is because the special uh, pr property that we have the class variable on the top and all the other variables are in the bottom. Okay, so everything is uh, condition on C. Now, uh, then the rest is just what we did for tree structures. Build a tree over X by selecting edges such that the total weight of the final tree edges is maximized. And once we, have, we do that, we have the skeleton, then we will select a root node and orient the, the edges so that all the directions are outward, outward from the root. And at the end, we just need to add the class variable to the network. Okay, so the only perhaps new thing and uh, the point that makes it simpler in the case of a tan is this part, how we calculate the weights. Again, it's a conditional mutual information.
Okay. Okay, so let's see it in practice. Back to the beginning example of this section. Suppose we have the following data to learn three augmented naive base. So we have the disease class COVID flu. Uh, this time we don't want to necessarily categorize the variables. Uh, like when the disease class is hidden, here we have a number of samples and we know the disease class for each of them. Okay, so no missing data in this case. The first step is to compute the conditional mutual information for the pair of different variables. We have four variables, two out of four is six. I have six of them here. IP of G and F, congestion and fever. If you calculate it, you will see it will be 0 0.03 and so on. The second step is to construct the completely connected undirected graph. So I will have all the features. I will construct the edges and I will put down the edge, the, the weight on each edge. So congestion, fever, 0 0.03. Here it go, and all the other ones. Step three, uh, three edges are selected based on the edges weight. So I need to find the edges that will construct the maximum spanning tree and which has the maximum weight. You see that these choices will have the maximum weight. Okay, great. So I have my tree. And what should I do next? Well, I, I need to turn it into a Bayesian network, which is a directed graph. So difficulty brief here, you can choose any of them. Recall sco score equivalence. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we choose as long as it's a tree structured, meaning that it doesn't have V structures. Okay, so here we just took difficulty briefing and we make the edges out going from there. Okay. Am I done? Well, we still need the class variable. I put it there and then link it to all the other variables. Here we go. This is my TAN, tree augmented naive base. At the end, I have the acknowledgments and thank you for your attention.